Good day, welcome to Dean's English Speaking Channel. Today we gonna talk about your experience of being late. Please describe a time when you were late you should say, when it was why you were late how you felt about being late you know. I am a very punctual person and try to reach everywhere on time. I got this habit from my father, who is very disciplined and strict about being on time. He always told me that if you are punctual, it tells people that you are dependable. If I have an appointment, I take extra caution and try to reach at least 10 minutes before my appointment time, but sometimes, even. Giving myself this extra time has not helped, and I have been late. I remember being late to my best friend's wedding. My best friend, Amy, got married last year. He is the first one to get married among my friends. And we were all very excited. Chinese wedding ceremonies are very lavish. And usually there are two to three functions before the ceremony. A day before the wedding, there had been a ceremony where we danced and partied till late night. Dot I was tired in the morning, but woke up and got ready on time to be with my friend on his special day. The wedding ceremony was in a Catholic church on the outskirts of our city, about 15 kilometers from my home. I had been there before with Amy, and he had given me directions that time. I am bad with remembering directions and road names. I always rely on my cell phone's map app on the wedding day I put the address in my phone and started from my home well on time. After 40 minutes, my mobile GPS said that I had arrived at your destination, but when I looked around there was no Kuyong Road and just some old buildings there. I realized that since the Kuyong Road was new and away from the city, the map app had not recognized the address and taken me to a different address. I got out and asked around. Fortunately, someone knew the exact location and told me the directions. I had taken the wrong route and driven the opposite way. I was so annoyed with myself for not paying attention. I called another friend, who was at the wedding and asked him to share his location in case I got lost again. Dot by the time I reached, the ceremony had already started, and about was half done, I felt terrible about being late to my friend's wedding. Till this day he teases me that I, who is always punctual, was late to his wedding. Okay, let's move to part three with six follow-up questions. One dot, are you ever late for anything? Are you a punctual person? No, I am a very punctual person. I value time and am never late for anything, unless it is due to some unavoidable and unforeseen circumstances. 2. Dot, what excuses do you use when you are late? I am usually not late for any meetings or appointments. However, if at all I am getting late due to an unavoidable circumstance, then I inform the person I am meeting beforehand. I don't make excuses. 3. Why are people often late for appointments or meeting? I think it's a problem with time management. For example, people often underestimate the time they need for something and they realize they need much more time when they start doing it. Moreover, many people don't consider being a little late to be wrong. For .do you think people are born with time management skills, or they can be taught, I think time management is something we acquire over time. It's something we learn from our parents. If parents are punctual and strict on time, children also become punctual. Moreover, it also has a cultural aspect. For example, Japanese people are generally very punctual. Point five. Dot, how would you teach your children time management? Time management can be taught to children by helping them make a timetable and ensuring that they follow it. Also, children can learn easily from stories or movies, 
which teach them a lesson about the importance of time and managing it well. The parents are role models for children and they should set a good example for their children. 6.do old people and young people manage time in a similar way. No, old and young people do not manage their time the same way. Old people have more life experience and they understand the importance of time management better than the young generation. The young people may be too impulsive or impatient and may not understand the importance of planning ahead. Another difference is the way the younger generation manages time. They make more use of technology and the old people may use the traditional methods, like a timetable or writing down a list of tasks.